Hi, I'm Sophia Villegas with your Classroom News. And I'm Rachel Stomar with Sophia. Today we are going to talk about Miss Yeager's class in fourth grade at Walnut Canyon Elementary School. With the green screen. Like, no, no. We are going to talk about the blended learning class. Stop doing that. Let's go interview some of these students. Hello, Kristen. Hi. What are you doing on your iPad? Minecraft. Do you like the blended learning class? Yes. Why is Minecraft important? Minecraft's important because you can build many things on it. And it, you can build missions and you can bring, dream anything you want and you can build anything you want. And it's a blended learning thing, so... Thank you for your thoughts. Hello, Austin. Hi. What are you doing on your iPad? Well, I'm on my Google Doc, Doc, my Google Drive. Do you like the blended learning class? Of course. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like it? 100. That's not an option. Oh. You should have just said 10, Austin. Okay. Okay. Because I'm always wrong. Hi, Abby. Hi. What do you think about the blended learning class? I think that it's cool and fun because you get to go online and do paper things like that sort. <laughs> what are you on right now? What program? Google Classroom. Where we do uh, homework and stuff like that. So what's on it? Homework, links to homework or Google Docs and other things. I see you have an agenda book on there. Mm -hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Hi, Maya. Hello. What are you doing? I'm doing our classwork for today. Good. Now we're going to let you finish. Thank you. Blended learning class means you're half online and half on paper. Everybody in this classroom has their personal laptop or desktop computer. Something. Uh, people who have their own iPads can also stop. Can also bring in their iPads and use them. For stuff. Behind us is a green screen. Our own class has a green screen, and right now we're filming on an iPad with the green screen app. We can also do school projects like social studies with the green screen. The green screen app is like four bucks. It's not very expensive, but it's worth your money. We can also turn playing things into learning things. Like Minecraft is a game, but we can turn it into a project for school. Some projects we've done this year is our mission work. Some kids are working on a dream house for geometry right now. Let's take another tour of the classroom and visit the laptop cart. This cart doesn't have to be Right here is the laptop cart. There's only Five people who don't have laptops and that, and they work on desktops. You can see them over there. On the right side of the room. Over there. Miss Yeager is the teacher for room 12. Let's interview her. Hi, Miss 
Miss Luther. Hello. <laughs> what do you do on your computer? I'm working on our plan book and trying to find some fun videos as well as some Kahoot games to play before we take a quiz. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> Seeker was talking about the hoop games. The hoop games are a class, is a class game for learning or for fun things. It tests you on geometry, ecosystems, anything you want as long as it's, it's existing. Kahoot, you can do on iPad, any mobile devices, or on a computer. Kahoot is fun. You can also get other people's Kahoot games. Like if you don't, if you want to make your own ecosystem, you can do that, or you can find other people's ecosystem Kahoots, which I think is really helpful. In this classroom, you have learned about what we do. We're half online and half on paper. We have also taught you about the green screen and all the all the sites and things we use to have a nice classroom. Thank you. And I'm Sophia Villegas. And I'm Rachel Stelmar with Room 12 News.